this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 5 best entry level drones on the market this year. Like always, we try to include products that could work for someone on a strict budget all the way up to experienced professionals. So whether you're looking for something cheap or looking for professional grade camera equipment, we'll have an option for you on this list. So if you want to find out the best entry level drone, be sure to stay tuned. Coming in at number 5, we have the Parrot Bebop 2. We have this one as the best durable entry level drone of our list. Being within the $300 to $400 price range, it's a great first drone for those who want to get an initial taste of remote control flying. At the same time, with a very solid metal structure, it can withstand the occasional bumps, mid-flight and likely rough landings caused by the still pretty inexperienced beginner flyers. With 25 minutes of flight time, it is also very suitable to get continued practice without having to worry of recharging it just when you are getting the hang of it. You'll likely appreciate the 2700 MAH battery edition in those instances. Another beginner friendly edition we think is pretty cool and that this drone has is the rear flash LED. We notice that night flights are much easier in comparison to drones that don't have it and the visibility increases exponentially. Now let's take a closer look at some of the specific features the Parrot Bebop 2 comes with. It comes with program propellers. There is no such thing as too many safety features when we refer to drones meant for beginners. With propellers that are programmed to automatically shut down in case of a collision, the Parrot Bebop 2 gives you an extra peace of mind when you are getting those initial flight hours in. It also includes 3-axis digital stabilization system. The Parrot Bebop 2 is capable of flying in all types of conditions thanks to its very efficient digital stabilization system powered by its 3-axis. We notice that this feature comes very handy during high altitude flights when there is a higher chance of having to deal with stronger winds. It also includes enhanced 14 MP camera. Parrot really stepped up their game in this department in comparison to their drone's predecessor. With a 14 MP camera powered by a fisheye lens, things like low light photography or 90 angle degree photography and filming are much easier to pull off without a significant loss of quality. Let's now enumerate some of the pros and cons of the Parrot Bebop 2. It has a long battery life. As mentioned above, we consider the 25 minutes of flight time one of the most salient features of this drone. It's also very easy to fly. Its stabilization system, coupled with the possibility of flying the drone with the piloting app, Free Flight 3, from your phone or tablet, make the Parrot Bebop 2 one of the easiest drones to fly for a beginner. One con is, the camera is a bit too sensitive. The drone itself is very robust, but the camera lens won't stand too much rough treatment, so you need to be careful when flying it indoors. Just wanted to mention, all of the links to all of the products mentioned in the video will be in the description down below. These cameras do tend to go on sale, so be sure to check out those links for updated pricing on all the products mentioned. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notification to stay up to date with the latest in-camera gear as well as tips and tricks for photography and video. This list was created based on my personal experience with these products or very similar products as well as hours of research. With all of that out of the way, let's get back into the video. The fourth place in our list goes to the DJI Mavic Air Quadcopter. Coming in just above $700, it can still be considered an entry level drone for those who want to splurge a little bit and get something higher end. Its lightweight and foldable design make it a great drone to carry easily and take with you anywhere so you can practice in different places and under different conditions. The folks at DJI use the same criteria when designing the remote controller of this drone, which is foldable and easy to carry as well. With a very respectable battery duration of 21 minutes, the Mavic Air Quadcopter is also a great entry-level drone to put in continued beginner practice without having to worry too much about low charging battery levels and having to interrupt your session. This drone is very packed in terms of features. We could go on about them all day, but for the sake of this video's duration, let's only focus on the most relevant ones. It includes 32 MP sphere panoramas. The Mavic Air comes with a powerful camera that goes above and beyond the 180 degree panoramas. With the capability of stitching 25 pictures in just a few seconds, this drone creates sphere panoramas with a very respectable quality. It also includes 4K video support. You can easily film 4K videos at 30fps with this drone camera. The 3-axis gimbal is a great complement to it as it helps to stabilize the camera to maximize the video quality while filming. 
It has an elegant, yet functional design. DJI managed to create a chassis that not only looks good, but is also very functional. For example, it has rear vents that dissipate the heat and recess pocket where the camera is placed for greater protection. Now let's talk a bit about the most important pros and cons of the Mavic Air. Its foldable design and remote controller, coupled with its lightweight, allow for you to take this drone wherever you want without too much hassle. It is also greatly equipped for photography and filming. Quick shots, slow motion, video, 360 degree panoramas, and many other features make this quadcopter one of the best entry level drones for photography and filming in the market. The cons are, it can't take much of a beating. The design is robust enough to protect the most delicate parts of the drone, such as the camera, which is in a recessed position as already mentioned, but we found it to be a bit delicate when subjected to very rough landings, so we suggest to get some pictures in easy conditions before jumping to trickier, higher risk flight situations. Coming in at third place and priced in the low $30 range is the Hupson X4 H107L 2.4 GHz 4CH RC quadcopter is the perfect budget entry level drone for those who want to test the waters of the drone world without spending too much in the process. This quadcopter is equipped with everything you need to get a first taste of drone flying and get familiarized with the dynamics if you are planning to use it just as a trampoline to higher end drones later on once you are past the beginner stages. A 6 axis flight control system for easy flying to quickly learn the ropes, 4 ways flip to get a hang of the most typical flight tricks and maneuvers and a battery that provides a pretty decent flight time for the drone's price. Let's now dig a little deeper on this drone's main features. The X4 is equipped with two different flight modes, beginner and advance. The first one keeps the drone very stable and lets you learn the basics without having to stress too much on keeping the drone controlled at all times. Once you get the hang of it, you can switch to the advanced mode that has a much more sensitive response and allows for more aggressive maneuvers. It also includes multi-purpose LED lights. The X4 comes with four LED lights that, besides providing visual reference when flying it during day or night, it can also offer information on the drone's current state and warn of any errors before sending it to fly. Now let's enumerate some of its pros and cons. One pro is, it is easy and cheap to fix. If your first few flights are a little rough and you're afraid that that might damage the drone, you don't need to sweat about it too much. Hupsing offers a full line of replacement parts that come in at a very reasonable price. It's also very lightweight. At 4.8 ounces of weight, the X4 is a drone that you can easily carry with you and take it wherever you want. One con is that it's not very robust. As expected for the price, the X4 chassis is not the most robust one, so you need to be careful not to land it very rough or bump it into hard surfaces if you don't want to have to fix it frequently. Coming in at second place is the Holy Stone F181 CRC quadcopter drone. Priced at just under $80 and with all the features it has, it is a drone that gives you the most bang for your buck. As all the other entry-level drones we have suggested so far in this video, this one also comes with features that make beginners' lives much easier to learn the ropes, such as a one-key return to prevent the drone from getting lost and a headless security system that makes flights a lot easier. The 360 degrees one-key allows for a complete four-ways flip range, and coupled with a continuous roll, you'll notice that you get the hang of flying it very quickly. Let's take a closer look at the most relevant features of this drone. It has an altitude hold function. This beginner-friendly feature takes a bit of stress off of those first few flights by allowing the drone to hover at the current height it's at when you release the throttle stick. It includes a 720 HD camera. The F181C comes equipped with a very decent HD camera that will let you film and take photos with a respectable quality. It also comes with a four-speed control mode. The speed control mode lets you pace yourself while you are learning how to fly the drone and gives you the option to start slow at first and progress into faster speeds once you feel more confident. Now let's see a few of the pros and cons of this drone. It has a decent operation range for the price. With a 50 to 100 meter operation range, this drone allows for some flexible flying, especially outdoors. It's great for recording. The 720p HD camera coupled with a 4GB micro SD card upgrade that comes included allow for video recording during all flight time with a quality that can be considered quite decent. As for the cons, these are the ones worth taking into account. It has a short flight time. 
The F-181C lasts around 7 to 9 minutes in the air, which only allows for quite short practice sessions, so it is important to take this into account for your outdoor flights. Its charging time is also a con. It takes about 70 to 90 minutes to completely recharge the battery. This, together with the short battery duration, can be an obstacle if you want to put in long and continued flight practice sessions. Finally, at the top of our list, we have the RC Quadcopter Drone with Camera. Coming in at almost $100, this drone from Force One is the best overall entry-level drone among all the options we talk about in this video. It might be a little more expensive than some of the other alternatives we discussed, or have less features than the higher-end drones also reviewed in this video, but in terms of cost-benefit, this one has to be in the first place. A 720p HD camera stabilized with a 6-axis gyro allows for some great recording and photography, even if you are a beginner and still haven't learned to keep the drone very steady. The 18 minutes total flight time is also a very cool capability this drone has. At its price range, it is rare to find such a long flight time that rivals even with the higher-end drones priced at $300 and above. With almost 20 minutes flight sessions, you can easily and conveniently accumulate fly hours and bring your skills up in no time. Let's now analyze the main features of this drone so you can see more clearly why it's our top choice. It includes one button flips. Doing complex maneuvers is quite easy with the one button flips this drone comes equipped with in comparison to other drones of a similar price and even to those that come in at a higher price range. It comes equipped with a two speeds mode Similar to other drones we have already mentioned, this one also allows for speed regulation to start at an easier pace if needed. It also includes headless mode. Another cool feature to have in a beginner drone to make sure you never lose track of it, especially if you fly it when visual conditions are not the most favorable. It also has a bonus drone battery and power bank. This is a feature that explains the 18 minutes total flight time this drone is capable of. As for the pros, it's great for both kids and adults. The drone is simple enough to use and understand for a kid, but equipped enough to make a perfect beginner drone for an adult that wants to progress to complex and riskier flights as well. It's also very stable. The six-axis gyro balance coupled with the one-button flips allow for stable and smooth flights, as you don't have to constantly worry about keeping it in control or be afraid of losing stability while doing a flip due to complex button pushing patterns. Now let's see what some of the cons are. It has a short range. Be careful if you plan to fly it at ranges that go beyond 80 meters as you might lose communication with the drone, something to take into consideration for your outdoor flights particularly. Some parts of the chassis are fragile. As a whole, the drone is very sturdy, but there are a few parts of it that might not withstand heavy collisions. So, as recommended previously for other drones in this list, better to be safe than sorry and progress into riskier and more complex situations slowly as you gain skills and confidence. Alright, that's all for this video. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with the latest and best in everything camera, photography, and filmmaking, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in updated pricing on all of the products mentioned, be sure to check out the links in the description down below. I hope you guys keep creating, and I will see you in the next video.